Hi, I'm, my name's Kathy Manorite. I'm the mother of Christina Manorite and the grandmother of Giovanni Manorite. I'm an alcoholic. My name is Christina. Um, I'm Giovanni's mom, so most of you know Giovanni, maybe not necessarily knowing me. And I am the daughter of a recovering alcoholic. My problem started young in life. I was like a tornado wherever I went. I mean, I broke a glass of dinner every night. I just, I made, I just was a tornado. Just went through life like that and um, continued on life like that as a child, as a teenager, as an adult. Even went to jail a couple times. <sighs> Having a mom, uh, you know, that does something not only to herself, but, you know, to the people around her. Um, I think as a child, you know, we're, we're innocent. And so we don't know, um, you know, why our mom acts a certain way. You know, we, we don't put those things together. Um, as an adult, I think as I became a teenager is when it really, really started to affect me personally. Because, you know, I noticed that she wasn't coming to things. She slept a lot. She just wasn't, she wasn't there. Um, and then, you know, our relationship was very, very strained. I actually left my mom's house when I was 15 to go live with my dad because at the time they were separated. And um, for me, that was like the best thing ever because, you know, I was able to separate myself from my mom because we were, that was when our relationship started to get very bad. Over the years, you know, it actually got just got worse. I thought as I got older, it would get better. You know, I'd be able to help her and she just, you know, she chose alcohol, you know, unfortunately over her family at times. What I realized is life, I drank because it made me happy. I guess maybe life didn't always make me happy, so you drink. And to drink, it didn't make you happy either. But I had to start thinking about this too. He gave me this to borrow, to live in, and I was destroying my life just for self-satisfaction, you know? because it felt good, made my head feel good. I never wanted to stop drinking because I liked it too much. I liked the effect. But when Giovanni got in his accident, I wouldn't even, I got angry. And I got angry at God. I got angry that he, uh, that this, I blamed him. This, why would he take Giovanni from us? He was in a coma, so we didn't know if he'd live or die. But why would he take us from, take him from us, you know? With my kids, she was a great grandmother, but you know, my kids were starting to see her behavior. And it was, you know, it was very hard for me because as a mom, you want to protect your children and I wanted to keep their innocence, but they were seeing the, you know, the alcohol abuse. And so that was very difficult. And, and it affected Giovanni the most because he was the closest to my mom. And then of course, many of you know about um, Gio's accident, I think. In a, some ways, that was a wake-up call for her after his accident. But at the same time, it still took a year for her to finally convince herself that she needed to do something, um, you know, to change her life. Because the way that things were going just wasn't working. He got out of the hospital. When he started getting better, he told me his story. His uh, out-of-body experience why he was in a coma. And he told me this about a year after his accident, or maybe six months. And I just, I got chills and I started crying. I just decided that it was time for me to not be angry at God no more. Pastor Chris had talked to me and explained it wasn't God's fault, you know. And that I still kind of blamed God. Today I don't. Today I realize that Giovanni's for the better. I hate to say that, but he was kind of going down a wrong path too. And he's just like his grandmother. And I just look at him and he's my glory. God gifts, blessed me with him. And I decided that it was time that I stopped drinking, you know? God has given me an opportunity and Giovanni came back so, so different. He's so happy. This is a boy in a wheelchair, so happy. I mean, look at him and he's, uh, he's got something, you know, and I want that.
I want to be part of that. And I decided to give up drinking 13 months ago, and uh, I'm sober today by the grace of God. And so she went into recovery, and you know, and a year later, she is sober. I'm closer with my mom now at 37 years old than I've been in my entire life. Um, I'm super proud of her because I know how hard it is for her because she started doing this when she was so young. Um, but she's done amazing. Um, and, you know, obviously Pastor Chris and Vivi have been a huge, huge part of our family now for a few years, you know, with little things, you know, helping me with the kids and their behavior. And then, of course, after Gio's accident, and then, of course, you know, being very supportive to my parents as my mom went through her recovery. You have a new perspective and you realize how incredibly short life is and that as quickly as it's given to you, it can be taken away from you. So I think that, you know, we all are just you know, obviously so grateful that Giovanni is with us, you know, a little different than before, but you know, he's the best version of himself. He's an amazing boy. I'm very, very blessed. And I'm blessed to, you know, better late than never have a sober mom. And I'm so proud of her. And I'm so blessed to have the family I have. My daughter loves me today. She couldn't even talk to me a year ago. Without God, none of this would be possible. And when I get my irritation in me on days, because life goes on and we still get irritable and discontent, Giovanni will look at me and say, Nana, let go, let God. Thy will, not your will. And it's been a journey. And it's been a really good journey. Sometimes I think I should have done this a long time ago, but it wasn't my time. Now is. And that's all I got.